What's going on guys, it's me, Jelana Fan 2016 here, and today we have another SM Forward video for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. Super excited to talk about SM Forward once again, as we have many updates that we're going to be going through in today's video. So, buckle up everyone, we're going to get into all the things that just happened recently. Well, just kind of like the second update on SM Forward, I'll continue doing many of these videos for many years to come or many months to come as the project progresses but I don't want to give you guys some amazing details about the latest updates so for, yeah, for SM forward so with that being said let's get started so just like la the last video this is the website that shows the SM forward so it's sacramento.arrow and then you can see or you can just like type in SM forward in Google and then it like provides the app for you so there it is right there so yeah, tomorrow's airport, so I already read this already, so no need to go into further explanation, but yeah, this is Northern California's airport experience that's about to get even better with plans to launch uh, seven major expansions, like expansions of the airports, over the next four years, and uh, like the cost of that is $1.3 billion, so yeah, super excited to see what the future holds for this project right here. So we're gonna get into the project highlights, so... Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like the usual thing. Like I would go over this website, but yeah, there are things that won't like won't be going over. But there are a couple of like updates that I do want to talk about. So we're gonna get started with a project highlight. So let's view the project map, and they did update the project map. So as you can see, a lot different compared to like before. So as you can see, it kind of like highlights. I think this is a lot more clearer. So really cool to see this. So as you can see. The ones highlighted in like blue shows like the future expansion. So, take for for instance, you got the free winning lot right there, which that's already open as of now. And then you also got AM PM, which yes. And then here are all like the seven expansion areas. So as you can see, you got the ground transportation center right there, and then you got the terminal A expansion right there. And then there's concourse B's expansion, and then and then like there's the pedestrian walkway. And then you also got the terminal view parking garage as well, and the consolidated rental car center. So that's your reference right here for all like the future expansion projects for Sacramento International. And as you can see, this is the main airport entrance. You also got the Elkhorn Boulevard expansion road right there. You got a free wing lot, of course. And then this is where you like go to right there. And then AMPM, which is like a small gasoline restaurant right there. And then there's also a future economy lot, which I'll be going over later in today's video. So, yeah, that is your highlight. Not sure if you can see it, but I think this should be good. But other than that, that is the that's the highlight. So once again, this is a well more. I think this is a well organized like layout. So as you can see, you got like new terminal A exit right there, and then all the other stuff right there. So that is it for the highlights. So, yeah. Uh, overall, we're gonna see some updates, and yeah, once again, it's a much more better layout than the previous one. So, great work, SMF, for, for updating the map. So, here we go. So, we're gonna get started with the pedestrian walkway, and this is like the main topic I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So, the pedestrian walkway of Sacramento International, and yet it is an improved ADA com compliant walkway for all visitors between Terminal B and Concourse B, Concourse B built with future expansions in mind. So, as you can see, construction began, which is just happened a few days ago, so August 5. So, construction began on quarter 3 of 2024, and as of this recording, well, as of this upload, it actually, the groundbreaking ceremony, like the groundbreaking ceremony, excuse me, already happened, so... Really nice that the Terminal B parking garage, Terminal B parking garage, apologies, the pedestrian walkway, the Terminal B pedestrian walkway had just begun, so once again, as I said, the, ground the groundbreaking ceremony for the pedestrian walkway happened on August 5 of 2024, so we can expect construction of the pedestrian walkway to begin at some point, so as you can see, so here are the pictures, and yeah, the expected opening date still says 44 25. So yeah, here is the video right there. So this is the video that you'll see on SMS's or Sacramento International's YouTube channel right there. So it shows you the pedestrian walkway right there. Here's another CGI image of the walkway. So as you can see, I think this is much more detailed. And as you can see, it runs all the way from here. 
you have to walk all the way here and then take some escalators before you go down here and then enter concourse B right there and then here's some more pictures right there so this is the inside they also talk about there's like I think they also talked about like art styles like artworks that are going to be displayed at the like the pedestrian walkway if I can try to look for it but I'll go, go over that one after I go through these images I try to like set up but under that as you can see so these are the escalators you can take the stairs too and I think these can also be elevators in case some people want to take the elevators rather than just like like the escalators but yeah it's your point so as you can see next picture here's another CGI image of the pedestrian walkway and then here are the pictures from the groundbreaking ceremony so as you can see you got additional gates and terminal expansion right there you got the consolidated rental car center, you got the pedestrian walkway, which was the main the main purpose of this video. Of course, that's just happened recently, the groundbreaking ceremony. And then you got the new terminal. So yeah, these are all like the expansion projects for S4 right there. Here's some more pictures there, and then you can also see the SM4 to Mars Airport now arriving in. Yeah, once again, this was from the groundbreaking ceremony of the pedestrian walkway. So stuff right here and then you got other various like board directors of SMF talking about the projection walkway and what's to come for the SM4 project there's some more pictures right there and then a couple of people speaking in there so nice and then here's some more pictures of like the crew digging up the ground so therefore starting officially starting the new Pedestrian walkway expansion right there. Here's another picture right there, as you can see. And then more pictures. So just kind of like going over these pictures right here. So yeah, that's it for like the terminal, the terminal B pedestrian walkway. Overall, super excited for this like pedestrian walkway. And then yeah, I also have a couple of videos to show you guys as I go through this website. So looking forward to showing you guys these videos. So that is the pedestrian walkway right there. Next up, I do want to talk about, or actually before we talk about it, I do want to talk about this because SMF did post this on their Instagram page about the pedestrian walkway and it's talking about like Sacramento International Airport's RFQ. So that's kind of like something about, not sure what that is, but it has to do with something about artist people. So I stayed on an Instagram post, so I'll show you the Instagram post from SMF and it says, Calling all artists and artist team or artists or artist team working in the United States. SMF is commissioning works for four project sites on our new pedestrian walkway and terminal B parking garage. Please share. And then it also provides like the details. So I think what this is like what this is talking about is for the pedestrian walkway and the terminal B parking garage, they're gonna be having some cool artworks from various people, so there you want to like share some artworks and then SMF will display them in the pedestrian walkway and the terminal B parking garage which I'll be going over later or in a couple of minutes but yeah really cool to see like see SMF go to this kind of direction have some people like get well created to have them display in the like the all the various facilities and the deadline to submit the qualifications was on May 7, 2024 by 4 p.m. so that date already passed but Really cool that they're going to be adding a bit of nice artworks inside the pedestrian walkway and concourse in the Terminal B parking garage. And under that, yeah, it just helps helps the areas or helps the structures look more vibrant and all that and more like lively. But under that, really excited for the pedestrian walkway progress, and I'm going to be talking about a lot about the progress of the pedestrian walkway. Another thing. Another thing well, yeah, so yeah, once again, to conclude, the SM4 the pedestrian walkway had just begun. The groundbreaking ceremony was held on August 5th of 2024. So yeah, it's August 9th as of this upload. So it happened on Monday of this week. So really nice to see the beginning of the pedestrian walkway. The next topic I do want to talk about though is the Terminal B parking garage. So as you can see, so wait, does it show milestones? Okay, it does not show milestones. But as you can see, so as you, this is kind of like self-explanatory as well. I did talk about this, but it is an additional four four thousand five hundred to five hundred fifty thousand. Or five, hang on, let me read that. 
it says it is an additional 4,500 to 5,500 parking space west of Terminal B. So, yeah, kind of like in between like Terminal B park, like the Terminal B area. So, you're like in the checking area. So, construction should begin around quarter four of 2024, and the expected opening date is quarter four of 2026. So, as you can see, here are some milestones right there. We'll go to the recent one, which is on April 9th of 2024, and it says, Auto Constructor... Uh, oh, shoot. Excuse me. Hang on, guys. Uh, so, this is the recent milestone they have, which is on April 9th of 2024, and it says, Auto construction awarded contract to build a 5,000 or 5,500 space parking structure near Terminal B. And it actually provided a CGI image of the Terminal B parking garage. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's the picture coming on your screen right now. And then look at this beauty right there. <sighs> wow. Honestly, it actually looks much better than the Terminal A parking garage. As you can see right there, it looks really modernized this parking garage i think it's help it does help fit the style of terminal b as you can see right there and then you got all your various like they're gonna be adding some like trees right there and then yeah this is where you enter the parking garage and then yeah i think this parking garage would actually be not sure if it'll be bigger compared to like concourse ace like terminal ace parking garage but as you can see by these images you got one cgi image right there here's another one which yeah, I think this could be bigger than the Terminal A parking garage. As you can see, you also got the exit areas of the, or entrance areas. And then, yeah, this this is absolutely cool, as you can see. So, lot, yeah, this could, this could take up a lot more space. So, currently right now in SMF, there is like a parking, parking areas right there. It's just only like parking areas outside. So, with this new parking garage, I think it can expand more and accommodate more cars that are going to be parked here so really cool cj image right there so as you can see here's another view so here's another shot at shot of it so yeah i kind of i think this will replace most of like this park the other parking garage but as you can see this is really cool so once again you got all the various like modern designs of a parking garage right there and as you can see like all the various trees and then yeah all the area elevator areas right there so and then this is where the pedestrian walkway would be for Terminal B. This is absolutely cool. Really nice. A really nice look at it. So I'm really excited to see that go through once the structure begins constructed in quarter 4, 2024. And here's another shot right there. There's like various shots. So as you can see, here's the third one. Or maybe just like the fourth one. So yeah, you can see all the various structures up there. And yeah, that's it for the Terminal B parking garage. So overall, Really nice parking garage right there. I love the modern look to it. And overall, I think SMF did a wonderful job on the rendering of the parking garage. And overall, super excited to see that once the construction begins. Next up, we have pretty much like nothing to, to like nothing really too new. There might be some updates, but I'll go over these once again. So we're gonna be next up. We're gonna be having a Terminal A exit row, a new Terminal A exit row. So. So a new exit road allowed for better flow of traffic and construction should begin somewhere around quarter 2 of 2025 and it should expect to open somewhere around quarter 3 of 2026. And yeah, it's also a hub for, to allow for a more effects, a bit, excuse me, efficient shuttle system. Next up we have the Ground Transportation Center and yeah, this is a new exit allowing for a better flow of traffic and a hub, kind of like the same thing as what it says for the new Terminal 8 exit row. And construction should begin somewhere around quarter three of 2026, and the expected opening day should be somewhere around quarter three of 2027. So kind of like about one year from that time frame. Next up, we have the Concourse B expansion. So as you can see, you might see on the highlighted images or like the project map. This, they're gonna expand this area of Concourse B, so they're adding more gates to it, so kind of like an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more gates, or possibly 10 more gates, we'll, but we'll see. And yeah, so additional gates once again, additional ticketing areas, and baggage claim carousels, and office space. Construction should begin somewhere in quarter 3 of 2025, and should expect to open somewhere around quarter 1 of 2028. 
Next up, we have Terminal 8's expansion. So, once again, additional gates, additional ticketing areas, and baggage claims and all that stuff. Should I think it should begin, well, we're getting close, but the Terminal Terminal A expansion should begin, or, well, like, the construction should begin in winter of 2024, and the expecting opening time should be around spring of 2027. And last but not least, Consolidated Rental Car Center, and, yeah, the relocation of all of, like, our rental car facilities to the terminal area for a streamlined experience. So construction should begin in fall 2025, and the expected opening time hasn't said on when it'll be open, but it just has triple A's. But so we'll, we don't know. But yeah, following that, real nice progress for the SM Ford website right here, and here are the opportunities right there. So as you can see, here are all the various opportunities. I don't want to like go into much of these. But yeah, these are just like all your various like opportunities to request and qualifications and proposals and all that jazz. And then you also got some press releases, so they also released some press releases too. You could read more about them just by reading, by clicking on the read more tab right there. So as you can see, so it kind of like provides updates on what's going to be happening or like the progress of that forward right there. And then here are the new stuff right there. So. These are the various news that are going to be popping out in terms of SM Forward right there. And then you also got your resources right there. And then you got the SM Forward logo right there. So overall, really nice stuff from the website right there under that. But yeah, really nice stuff on the website. And overall, the excitement really builds on for this airport. As once again, the latest like update we have is the parking garage and the pedestrian walkway. I think it's more on the pedestrian walkway since construction had just begun for that terminal or that structure right there so super excited to talk about it once in a while and overall it's really cool to give you guys some updates on sm forward so that is it for pretty much the website but i also got additional resources as well so i'll go over some photos and videos for you guys so let's just transition into like some videos so hang on let me look at some resources so there's like a pedestrian walkway C CMAR industry day press presentation right there. There's an SM4 press conference announcement video and a terminal B parking garage project industry day June 17th to 2023 presentation right there. So you can click on these and then you can like download all the various like items. Well, this one's actually on the Instagram page. So that's like the press conference and this one you can also, I think this is another like downloaded or this is another like image right there. So kind of like a PDF file. But under that, really exciting stuff and really glad to see some more expansions happening for SM Forward. But yeah, so that's it for the website. But I, once again, I also got some additional information or additional images and videos I do want to show you guys. So without being said, we're going to wa not waste for the time and we're just going to jump into the videos and pictures. So without being said, let's get into the pictures first and then probably later we're going to move on to the videos. So without being said, or I could just like mix me in like mix in between videos out of like pictures so i think that's a more efficient method i'll say so without being said let's move on to the pictures and videos all right let's move on to some photos that i took while i was out at smf during those times so here's our first picture right here so this is the free the new free waiting area for smf so it's once again it's situated close to the arco gas station and am pm and as you can see like it's really cool and i think this space is a lot bigger compared to the one close to the modern aviation facility and as you can see there is the elkhorn boulevard extension piece so really cool to see some progression over here so this is a time when the free waiting parking lot is completed so as you can see they added more space they add some roads right here and markers and all the markings and all that stuff so really cool to like see some progression well i think i said that but yeah really nice to see this like this whole waiting area be extended so now smf now has two free waiting areas so once again i think i already mentioned this but there is a free waiting area close to the modern aviation facility and this is the recent one that's close to the gas station and yeah the space here is a lot bigger so it's kind of like situated close to the entrance of the airport so really cool here's another picture right here so this is kind of like another view of the free waiting area 
as you can see, this whole entire area is quite empty. And yeah, I'm not sure what they're gonna do with this, but I also seen like at, like the previous, like the current waiting area before this one, they also had like a big empty space that I'm not sure what's the whole point of that, but yeah, there's some empty spaces right here. And as you can see, there's also the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway, so it will come from here all the way to like over here. So that way, it's much more easier to go to the airport in case like the freeway gets a bit congested. So that way, like passengers who don't really want to take the freeway because of traffic can go to here. So really nice that they built this Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway. So that's that. And the same picture I do want to show you guys is the entrance to the Elkhorn Boulevard roadway. So as you can see, you got the Welcome to Sacramento International sign right there. And I think on the other side, it says Welcome to Sacramento County. And you had the SMF logo right there, like SMF logo. I think I have a couple of, I'm not sure if I have a couple of pictures of that, but I'll have to look into that. But yeah, that is the sign right there. And yeah, really cool. And then you also got the features of like this area right here. It points you where all the facilities are, which airlines. So yeah, as as mentioned before, the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway is meant to like improve the traffic flow of passengers going to SMF. So yeah, if ever the freeway gets congested, then you have this roadway. So really cool that they, and really, that's really effort based that they built this in the first place. So that serves the purpose. So yeah. Now I do have a couple of video clips to show you guys. The first video clip, I'll give you guys a video of the whole parking facility, the free waiting area, and then I'll also show like show you pictures of me driving in the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway. So I'll show you the video clip of me assessing the free waiting area first, and then we'll get into the like the, the driveways for both the entrance and exit to the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway. So with that being said, let's start off with the assessment of the parking lot and then we're gonna proceed from there coming with you guys with the SM forward update this is big news for the project as yesterday the free parking space on this side and the Elkhorn Boulevard extension area the extension roadway had just opened up so really nice to see that SMF has now had this open up as well as add more free parking spaces as like their first free parking space is somewhere over there next to like the modern aviation terminal like the facility over there so it kind of gets a little congested that was their only like free parking space but now with this open more passengers can like wait here and yeah so i might try this out it's another good place to do some plane spotting here in smf too so this can be another plane spotting location and as for the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway, it's much more easier to connect. If I were to pass by there, I would just like take there, go right, and then I would like go through all like this stuff, like roadway, it does a curve, and then it leads me all the way here, all the way to that roundabout over there. So really nice efforts from SMF, and the project has been going good so far. We haven't heard any updates other than this being opened up, so, Love to see this effort, and yes, I did try this out early in the morning, so I'm gonna do that again. And other than that, it's a great, it's just a great like extension roadway, and the free parking space, the additional free parking space, is another nice addition right there. So, also I do want to mention that this can be another new location for plane spotting at SMF for three five right arrival. So, like to see this effort right here, and overall, keep you guys updated on the progression of SM Ford. As once again, the free waiting area, this is the second free waiting area once again, and the Elkhorn Boulevard Extension Roadway has opened yesterday. So that is it for this update clip. So we're gonna move on. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys some future SM Ford updates.
Alright, so the next round of pictures feature the Terminal A bathroom, so the lavatory, not really lavatories, but they're mostly on planes, but the restrooms that are located inside Terminal A. Now, I only got some pictures, well, of like the two bathrooms that were mentioned, well, I did mention on the video, so I do have a couple of pictures of that. So here's the first one. This is outside the security checkpoint, so kind of like close to the check-in counters. So as you can see, I really love the design of this bathroom right here. So as you can see, quite a different type of like bathroom layout as you can see. The, the toilets are like somewhere over here. So they're separated by doors that surround each corner. And then in the middle, it's like the sink area. So you'll see your faucets and then it's like one sink basically. So you can see it's an entire like there's like the sink itself and then you have faucets going from here all the way to here. And then in the middle, there's like the tissue area and that's where the drain goes. So really interesting design so yeah i think how smf designed these bathrooms are very stellar and overall it's just really good so that is the bathrooms right there so this is the outside and here's the other picture this is the bathroom well one of the two bathrooms that were inside terminal a so way past the security checkpoint so as you can see kind of had a little bit of glimpse of it so as you, you can like pretty much see it's the same layout but i think made the design is like different i'm not sure if i came when i enter here i saw the similar design now i'm talking about like the previous one and yeah got this picture after my trip to airliners international 2024 in kansas city so I, I decided to snap a picture of that and yeah that that's the only like bathroom i got i did not look into the other bathroom that was like there i think by that time it was completed already but i'm not really quite sure but these are two photos that I took, so as you can see, the sink layout is actually different, but I do love this pattern design, almost like a scale type, like, almost like a scale of like a reptile almost. But yeah, here are the sinks. Yeah, these are like different compared to the previous one. I think this one has a more unique design since the sink is literally in the middle, so really cool. There's two sinks on each side right there on the first one, so that, once again, it's that picture right there. But I think this is kind of like this picture right here is almost like a typical like layout for the bathrooms inside like many like public areas so yeah just like your typical design cliche right there but other than that really nice modern design to the bathrooms and i think smf did a good job modernizing the bathrooms right here for terminal a so yeah that's it for this round of pictures now the last pictures i'll show you well before that i'll give you guys a video clip of what's going to be happening for the sm forward possession parking garage so i do have a video clip talking about what's going to be happening and then afterwards i'm going to show you some pictures i did took two but yeah i'm super excited to talk about the smf pedestrian walkway to terminal b or concourse b in the next clip so without being said but okay yeah like i'm just kind of like making sure i'm kind of like stable but stable and like stable to stable and like trying to make sure that i'm reading my words correctly but other than that i'm just beyond excited to talk about the pedestrian walkway in the next clip so the next video clip and that's my last video clip for this video so without being said let's roll into that clip right now okay guys so coming with you guys with an update on sm forward so this is about to change right here this whole entire area is about to change because this is where they're gonna like do the groundbreaking ceremony for the new pedestrian walkway so as you can see right now it's kind of like this the monorail system right is right there and then you have somewhere over there is where the entrance of the pedestrian walkway will be so it's currently august there's they're supposed to do it i think they had like a private event somewhere over here but later on they're gonna do like a groundbreaking ceremony on august 5 which is on a monday which is pretty exciting so great to see some progression here at sm forward and i'm just super excited to see the pedestrian walkway come come to life here at sacramento international so once again this is this could be like the last look before everything changes so giving you one final look of what was going to be like this current view of sacramento international but with the new pedestrian walkway it's gonna make passenger travel more efficient and yeah many passengers like uh, don't get me wrong, the monorail is also a good transportation method to Terminal A, not Terminal A, Terminal B. But I'm excited to see the new pedestrian walkway for Terminal B. So that's your final look at this current location right now. And then on Monday, well, probably this upload date, it'll be coming after the groundbreaking ceremony. But that changes today. So this is my final video of this whole area right here. 
And here are the last two photos for this compilation of photos right here. So as you can see, this is what it looks like before the construction begins. So this is just open fields, that's it. So open fields right there. They're going to do some construction for the pedestrian, pedestrian walkway right here. So as you can see, this is like the last or the final image I took once well before construction began and this was back in August 3rd of 2024 so as you can see pretty much empty space all like your ground service equipment are parked there but later down the road well months prior to this they're gonna like have to clear those out so they begin they can like begin construction so it's one photo right there so yeah once again they're gonna like do some heavy work on the on like this area right there and yeah they already did like a ground ceremony well this was taken before the ground groundbreaking ceremony and that took place on august 5 so yeah here is like everything all the greenery and stuff and then all your wood chips and all that so kind of like your typical almost like your typical like area of smf air like smf airport just before the pedestrian walkway begins construction and here is like another photo as well so yeah it'll start from here so just close to the automatic people mover and then later on like once they started like construction over here they're gonna like block this out they're also gonna block this interior out and then they're gonna begin construction to make the pedestrian walkway so yeah it's gonna like be a very interesting facility and overall i'm just super excited for passenger flow to move as smoothly compared to right now so yeah that's it for today's video it's quite a bit of a lengthy video because i had to like go through all the all the, well, like the various like topics and yeah it's been months since i last had an update on sm4 but i hope you guys enjoyed this series so far my looking forward to hopefully increase that frequency for the next couple of months probably give you guys like a um, monthly update or two months update but other than that we're gonna see some more progression right here so really excited for sm4's progress and i'm just super excited to see and give you guys an update on the construction of the pedestrian walkway so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like the who won't miss a video like this anytime soon sorry about that guys so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time anyways good night